Tate McRae is our brand new cover star and she's performing at the BBMAs. We're running down the biggest songs on TikTok, Harry Styles is hairless, and we take a look back at Elvis. This is Billboard News for November 16th, and I'm Tetris Kelly. One of our favorite new stars is on the cover of Billboard. We get greedy with Tate McRae in our new profile. I remember the day I was on a walk with my mom, and I remember I was like, oh my god, I'm number one on like the bubbling under, the Hot 100 chart. And I was like, this is the biggest day of my life. When you broke me first hit 17. It's pretty wild because I feel like I've just been watching my favorite artists of all time on that chart. And I think at first, I didn't realize the capacity of what you wrote me first had done until I actually like got to LA and realized that it had, you know, gotten to a specific spot and gotten that big. When I wrote You Wrote Me First, I was 16. I was like, I have to put this song out, I really want to. The first time I had to like film my first ever like legit music video was with my friend, like back in Calgary on Video Star on my phone. It's only two passes of the entire music video. It's so crazy. It has like so many views now and it's so strange to just look back and see that it was literally made on a, an iPhone. I was so nervous to release this song because I feel like I hadn't released music for 11 months and so my fans were just kind of like waiting to see what I would do next and I didn't really know what direction I was going to go in, especially taking that much time off and then coming back with a song and it being like my biggest debut of a song ever is just like the craziest feeling ever. It's been really exciting to see it on the Billboard Hot 100. Just because even in the, the global uh, 200, like seeing it get to like number four has been like so nuts. It's wild that this all started when I was 16 because I didn't even know if I wanted to like grow up and be a singer. I thought I was gonna be a backup dancer or something. So to see the success of songs that are coming from my bedroom and then obviously translating to the rest of the world was very mind boggling for me and still is to this day. I feel like now it feels like my job and I'm like, okay, this is cool. I get to like actually do this every single day and put my full attention into it. But when I released You Broke Me First, like I was still finishing grade 11. It is very crazy. Just uh, my mentality has obviously shifted a little bit. For the full interview, head to billboard.com. And from our cover to our stage, she's headed to the BBMA. It's so wild. Every time I open my phone and I see billboard posts, it's still very crazy to see my name up there. Tay McRae is making a name for herself on the billboard charts with top hits on the dance electronic chart. The Canadian singer and dancer is a BBMA finalist and performer at this year's Billboard Music Award. Some of her biggest accomplishments include seven Hot 100 hits. You with regard and choice of on peaked at number one for eight weeks on the Hot Dance Electronic Songs chart. Seven total charted songs on pop airplay, including You Broke Me First, which reached number two in 2021. You broke me first. Tate McRae is up for one Billboard Music Award Top Dance Electronic Song for 1035. And we can't forget her highest charting hit to date. Her song Greedy has had success, including peaking at number 11 on the Billboard Hot 100. It became her highest career debut when it opened at number 33. It's her second top 20 on the Hot 100 following You Broke Me First, which reached number 17 in 2021. And the song has also reached the top 20 on Pop Airplay. Tate McRae is finding success on the Billboard charts and her performance at this year's BBMAs is sure to bring her star power even higher. Some pop stars are known for their luscious locks, but what happens when they want to switch it up? After news broke of Harry Styles shaving his head, fans have seemed to be in denial. But the pop star confirmed his luscious locks are in fact gone in a new post to Instagram. You know it's not the same as it was. Harry Styles is probably known as much for his hair as he is for his voice. Since his early days with One Direction, the singer has always sported a full head of hair. Well, it seems the rumors are true, it's all gone. On Wednesday, the Instagram account for pleasing the beauty and apparel line launched by Harry in 2021 shared a photo of their founder with his infamous new buzz cut on full display. Fans' reactions to Harry's shaved head have been nothing but hilarious, with one fan writing on X. How are you going to be named Harry Styles with no hair to style? 
And another saying what we're all thinking, Harry Styles shaving his head was not in my bingo card for 2023. I gotta say, I kinda like the new look. Maybe I'll join Harry and we can start a new trend for 2024, the buzz cut season. You know it's not the same as it was. It's always interesting to find out the inspiration of hit songs. And today we do that with Elvis. If you're looking for trouble, you came to the right place. Elvis Presley, one of the biggest names in music history. But did you know that one of the King of Rock's biggest hits might have been inspired by a can of Pepsi? I'm a little mixed up on the field. We take you to that moment in this week's Pop Culture Rewind. Elvis Presley. Elvis remains one of the greatest cultural icons. His 1950s hits like Heartbreak Hotel. And Hound Dog were a call to a generation of guitar slingers. He racked up seven number one hits on the Billboard Hot 100, but one of his most recognizable tunes may have been inspired by one of our favorite beverages. I'm in love. The 1957 all hit All Shook Up, up was written by Elvis and longtime collaborator Otis Blackwell. Yeah. Sourced from the encyclopedia of great popular song recordings, Blackwell's friend Al Stanton shook a bottle of Pepsi, which inspired Blackwell to pen the track. We're gonna crack open a cold one and listen to some Elvis with that story to tell. We'll have another huge moment for you next week in our Pop Culture Rewind. Elvis would for sure have been the kind of star that goes viral, kind of like these songs on TikTok. Minsky returns to number one and Mariah Carey breaks into the top 10. Mitski's My Love, Mine, Oh, Mine returns to number one on the TikTok Billboard Top 50, posted November 16. It's the song's fourth week atop the chart and users are clearly resonating with the track. Lil Mabu and Krishan Rock's Mr. Take Your Bitch drops to number two, while Aaliyah's interlude It Girl Sped Up rises to the number three spot. Ice Spice and Bad Bunny are reaching new heights with Deli at number four and Monaco sitting at number five. Mariah Carey's All I Want For Christmas Is You jumps from 11 to six after debuting on last week's chart as users get into the holiday spirit. Every Thursday, Billboard will bring you the verified list of the hottest songs on TikTok by monitoring music discovery and engagement on the platform in the United States. To find the TikTok Billboard Top 50 each week, users can simply go to any sound detail page and tap the top right button to access the charts page. And that's Thursday. Come back tomorrow for all the new music. I'm Tetris Kelly, and this is Billboard News.